What I'm going to read, of course, is from the very first chapter, the very first uh, passage. And the reason I wanted to read this is because it is exemplary of what I am trying to say about the 1950s India, uh, a country that was under domination by Brit Britain and by the East India Company for 300 years. And so getting that independence in 1947 was a really exuberant time for Indians. It was a way for India to figure out how do we want to rule ourselves? How do we want to educate our children? How do we want our infrastructure uh, to develop? And this is after the British have destroyed so many of the existing uh, industries in India so that you know, they could pocket a, a lot of the, um, the wealth of India. So in chapter one, this starts with Jaipur, state of Rajasthan, India, November 15th, 1955. Independence changed everything. Independence changed nothing. Eight years after the British left, we now had free government schools, running water and paved roads. But Jaipur still felt the same to me as it had 10 years ago, the first time I stepped foot on its dusty soil. On the way to our first appointment of the morning, Malik and I nearly collided with a man carrying cement bags on his head when a bicycle cut between us. The cyclist, hugging a six foot ladder under his arm, caused a horse carriage to sideswipe a pig who ran squealing into a narrow alley. At one point, we stepped aside and waited for a raucous band of hijras to pass. The sari clad lipstick wearing men were singing and dancing in front of a house to bless the birth of a baby boy. So accustomed were we to the odors of the city, cow dung, cooking fires, coconut hair oil, sandalwood incense, and urine that we barely noticed them. What independence had changed was our people. You could see it in the way they stood, chest puffed, as if they could finally allow themselves to breathe. You saw it in the way they walked, purposefully, pridefully to their temples. The way they haggled, more boldly than before with the vendors in the bazaar. That's lovely.